today. It's a uh, six week, 120 nautical mile trip. Uh, there'll be two boats, uh, my O'Day Day Sailor and John Davies Core Sound 17. Uh, it's a 120 nautical mile trip, starting from Summerland Point. We're heading up today, up the lake, all the way up to Swansea Heads, where we'll stay tonight. And then leaving tomorrow, uh, we're we'll set off on a passage to Broughton Island, um, which will take us on a course of about 43 degrees. Uh, we head off probably five, six miles offshore past Newcastle. Keep heading along through Newcastle Bight. Uh, if the wind isn't so strong tomorrow, we may pull into Port Stephens uh, for a night. If not, we will keep traveling north up to Broughton Island. Um, we should reach there late tomorrow evening. Uh, we will stay a night and Sunday. And then weather permitting, we're planning to keep heading off this chart another 15 nautical miles up to Seal Rocks, which is around about situated here. Um, from there, we'll probably stay a day and then start coming back with the northerly breezes that are forecast in a couple of few days time. Um, all up, the whole trip is around 120 nautical miles in open water and that should keep us busy for around six days. So we'll see you out on the water. Beginning of the voyage, we just set off from Summerland Point, a uh, little light easterly. Uh, John and myself, and that's home, and we're heading for Swansea Bridge. chicken and salad and um, as you can see we're just near the entrance to the ocean a little bit of surge coming in so, um, we're gonna have a little fire in a little while and uh, get ready for a big sail tomorrow so saturday morning we just uh, moved up the bay because it's blowing 25 knots plus outside um, we're just going to walk up the hill and have a look and see if we can possibly get away in a little while if it backs off a bit night number two we're still at swansea heads waiting for the breeze to die down hopefully in the morning it should be right Day three morning update. Um, the wind has swung around to the southwest and it's all looking good to go. So we're um, just having a quick brekkie and we'll be heading off shortly. So we'll see you out in the water.
Okay, here we go. Setting up from Swansea Heads. Um, we've got about a 10 knot southwesterly by the looks of things. So uh, hopefully we get a good day. Just heading out of the channel, we've got this little guy in this uh, little sea kayak. It's got the full rig up. So I don't know if he's coming to Broughton too or not. Check that thing. Just got out of Swansea and heading north, doing about five and a half knots at the moment. So we're thinking it may pick up a bit and get a bit quicker for us the further we go. Passing Redhead at the moment. Um, beautiful sailing. And that's Newcastle up in the distance. Got a couple of little seabirds flying around us now. And the wind seems to be starting to back a little bit, so we may have to jibe at some point soon. Dave, I'm um, just coming up to Newcastle. It's a bit of swell out here. There's a ship we're just passing, we're coming up to. Snobby's head. Starting to get some good breeze now. The ship passing is coming into Newcastle Harbour, which is over that way, Snobby's head. We have to just uh, steer around a bit to get out of its way. Here. We've been hitting like surfing it up to 10 knots at times. And um, anyway, we'll work out whether we'll keep going through the board or not. Once we get up to Port Stevens. Are you here? We are. It's 2 o'clock. Um, we're at Port Stevens Lighthouse. Had a cracking run. Pretty much sailed together the whole way. Be a really big southerly swell on. So we think it might be too um, too rolly at Broughton Island, so we're going to head into uh, around the back of Shark Island here, see if we can find any shelter here.
coming into Port Stevens. I've um, had a little breakage on my mainsail gooseneck, um, so I'm going to have to try and see what we can sort out with that. So I'm just taking it easy coming in here. It's well. sitting in Nelson Bay at the moment, just tied up behind the public jetty because there's so much swell coming in to the harbour. So this is nice and still. Right out here's dinner, BLTs, Nelson Bay. What are you having, John? I'm having packet mashed potato with uh, veggies and a can of salmon. Beautiful. We might even have a rum afterwards. We're lucky. Nice and still here. Okay, after a night in Nilsson Bay and then engine problems this morning, which we have half fixed, we're now heading out to Brighton Island. Um, it's like 10 to 1, but there's breeze, so it should be a nice trip out there. It's just a little pan around at Port Stephens. That's where we've come from. Nice breeze, a bit less swell than yesterday, so it'll be better for out of the island. Still a bit lumpy. Okay, we just got out of the bay. <laughs> it was a pretty wild trip. Big stand up waves. So it was all the tidal run out. Anyway, um, Broughton Island's just down there in the distance. Only like six miles away, so we shouldn't be too long getting there. Broughton Island up ahead down there. Just going through the islands. Off Port Stevens. Still very joggly. Hopefully once we get out a bit more we'll get a bit of clearer water. Okay, we're about halfway to Broughton from Port Stephens, which is back there. We're going to um, sail around the east side of it and have a look around the eastern end and then um, try and get an anchorage on that northern side, Providence Beach. Ooh. All right. Okay, so here we are at Broughton. I'm just going to go around these, this eastern side and have a look. We've got a backwash there.
Esmeralda Coast right down in there. I don't know if you can see the hut. Whoa. Um, it's a whole real lot of backwash around here, so it's really rough. This is the uh, North Eastern Tip. watching what's happening with these chops. Very northeastern tip of Broughton Island. It's pretty spectacular looking. Got some of those rock formations up there. Try and catch a fish tail away, but haven't had much luck yet. Some big waves in these rocks still. this snapper wall just about running it's about a 40 45 centimeter snapper it's about hitting this reef in the midst in the midst of it all anyway we just got to go around to this second beach and we're there so here we are coming into the anchorage at Providence Beach there's a yacht in there already if that's okay we'll hook right in behind these rocks, right in the corner. So here we are, finally, Broughton Island. Your little beauty. A beautiful afternoon. A couple of yachts here, really nice for a swim. Awesome stuff. Got that snapper for dinner and a few beers and a rum.
the middle of the island we're heading across to Esmeralda Cove for a look. This looks insane. Six thirty in the morning. It's a bit of a rolly old night. Well, not rolly, but jerky with the. Uh, Swell coming around the island. But it's a beautiful morning anyway. And nice um, westerly to start the trip back home. Okay, day five, we're just um, leaving Broughton, motoring around the top northwestern corner. Um, that's looking back to Providence Beach where we were anchored in that little corner down there. And there's a light westerly, so hopefully we get some miles in. Coming back up near Port Stevens. Just passing Port Stevens, the wind's getting really light. Finally sailing um, with a very light northerly nor'easter. So we're just passing the end of Port Stephens, um, Anna Bay, I think it is, and heading into Stockton Bight. So we're probably only going to make it to Newcastle Harbour tonight. Uh, we were trying for the lake, but I don't think we'll get there with the amount of breeze we've got, but you never know. Anyway, nice, nice conditions. Just running along, doing sort of four knots or something. It's very pleasant.
Okay, afternoon up, Joe. The wind's picked up and we're tearing along, so we're now going to head for the lake. We might get there on dark, maybe, but at least we'll be back, which will be good. It's awesome out here, big groundswell and nice breeze, and we're flying. Stop and this easy if I need to take one. <laughs> to come to Lake Macquarie. Um, we're not far out now. It's got a bit hectic. Um, it's about, I don't know what time, it is nearly six o'clock probably. Been too busy sailing so I've um, been hanging on. Anyway, nearly back. little bit into the channel. John. Okay, here we are, uh, last day of the trip. Day six, Wednesday morning. Um, we had a huge day yesterday, 10 hours behind the tiller, which wiped us out last night. We were lucky we um, managed to get back in just on dark. We ended up staying in this little creek uh, next to Swansea Bridge called Black Ned's Bay. Um, really protected spot, which was good because it was still windy still windy when we got back in and uh we slept like the dead last night here we are just tucked in behind this little seawall here opposite the bridge and the rsl club so the wrap up of the trip was everything was really good the uh winds were good we had following breeze pretty much everywhere we went would have been nice to get up to seal rocks but it just didn't pan out that way so we um we ended up, um, yeah, having to cut it slightly short, but regardless, everything went good. No major breakages. Um, I had a little problem with the goose neck, the track on the mast popped a rivet at one point and we had to, had to sail with the sail lower down the mast. Um, also the beak on my spinnaker pole broke, <coughs> which ended up fixing, lashing a butter knife to the end of the pole which seemed to work okay. Um, John was all good, he didn't break anything. Um, he was really happy with his boat. Uh, we were pretty well matched together, which was great. Um, at times, John had to slow up a tiny bit, so he generally had a little edge over me, but it was pretty close anyway, which was a good thing for those long trips. It's good to have a boat at similar speed with you. Um, 
anyway, so that's about it. We're just going to have a bit of brekkie and then head up back through the bridge and onto home. So that's about the wrap. Thank you.